everyone, it's Agnes and I'm going to do the pre-paving YouTube that I mentioned in the last YouTube. So I want to talk about this because it saves a lot of just emotional angst, emotional difficulty after you meet somebody, in this case a specific person, a boss, an ex, someone you're attracted to that's new, that you're getting to know. Now it's a pre-paving technique. So what you do is rather than just going into these meetings or these get-togethers or you know hanging out with someone and you've got all this anxiety or fear or some kind of even anger towards them, whatever you've got going on, what you do is you can sit quietly for a few minutes, say five or ten minutes, close your eyes and what you do is you actually go into that scene in advance. So you go into it before, okay? Revision is about cleaning up stuff that hasn't worked and that you've still got emotional baggage around and that you're still upset about, hurt about, angry about, fearful about. You go back and you revise the past. So you're going from the present, going back to the past, cleaning up your energy. Pre-paving is going from the present into the future and cleaning it up, pre-paving it before you get there. So that means you don't have to go back and fix up a lot of negative stuff. You can go and enjoy the thing and it creates itself the way you launched it. Okay, so let's say you want to go and have um, a coffee or a meal with someone and you feel anxious and nervous. So what you do is you close your eyes and you say, I love how this couple of hours goes so well with this person. I love how we just talk freely and easily. I love that I feel confident and I feel relaxed and I bring the best of me to this conversation, the best of me to this get together. I love how I feel just so at peace. I feel joy, I feel fun, I feel relaxed, I'm chilled out. I bring the fun to this. I give something to this rather than freaking out about not knowing what's going to come. I bring joy to this. I bring my energy to this. I bring my best self to this. This is how this is going to go. This is how it's going to be. It is done. And then you just imagine. So that's all kind of done with words. Okay. So you close your eyes and you kind of script it in a way in a pre-paving way. You can also, while you're doing that, if you're a little bit more advanced, imagine you sitting opposite them and you're doing that while you're seeing the pictures. So you talk the words, you see the pictures. If it's too hard for you, do it separately. Five minutes on one, five minutes on the other. So in the next scene, you would imagine sitting opposite. You see yourself, well, you're in yourself looking out through your eyes, seeing them, smiling at you, laughing at what you've said, you're looking down at the food and you're going, yum, this tastes good. So glad we came here. I've always wanted to come here. And you bring that joy to the scenes, okay? And then you see the person hugging you. You see them saying, let's catch up again soon. And you imagine it how you want it to be, okay? So it's quite a simple technique, but honestly, a lot of people forget to do it. And then they have all these little messy situations and things going on and you go, ah. And then you're going to do 100 self-love meditations to get yourself back up and lots of affirmations. So you can avoid all that, pre-pave before you go, and then you go in and wow, it opens up and it becomes the reflection of you, which is you who has lined up your energy and is feeling good about yourself today. Okay? Woohoo! That's it. That's it. That's it.